Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, conducting another Super Mario Odyssey experiment. As you can see, we're in the Lost Kingdom, and the Odyssey has been wrecked. Uh, and we need to get 10 power moons to fix it. Also, Mario is covered in soot right now. What we're going to try to do is get through this kingdom without Cappy ever being stolen by Klepto. So basically, we're going to do a technique called Klepto Skip, and we're going to try to make our way up and get all the moons we need without going over where, where Klepto is activated. Uh, as you may remember, the way you act, way Klepto is activated is you head over that direction, sort of here-ish in the, in the kingdom, and that's when Klepto activates, steals Cappy, you get her back. Uh, there are a couple of different ways in order to skip it. Skip skip that trigger and keep Cappy with you the whole time. We're going to be trying to pull one off. And we're going to be doing it uh, while permanently crouching. Uh, because when I did this kingdom in the crouching challenge, some people were a little disappointed that I didn't actually uh, try to do a klepto skip. So I'm going to try to do one now while crouching just to uh, make up for not doing it before. <laughs> So, um, what you want to do is go into this tree here. Uh, I think this is the right one. No, maybe it's that one. I think it's this one. Yeah, that looks right. Uh, you want to get on top of the tree. Uh, you can climb up it, just like this. Just get up there. There we go. Uh, what you want to do, basically, you can see that there's those purple coins up there. So what we want to do is try to do a triple jump from here from um, on top of the tree in order to get up there and then a cap bounce and dive in order to make our way up there without ever having to walk over that direction. So we're just going to get up there first. Having some trouble with this. Ugh. There we go. Okay. So um, to do a triple jump, we have to do a ground pound jump first uh, or we can also do a cap throw. We basically need to cancel out the backflip or long jump and do a regular kind of jump in order to get a triple jump out of it. Uh, yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Uh, if we get too much momentum, we'll do a long jump instead and that will not give us the height we need. Uh, you can also do this with a ro cappy roll jump, but doing those will crouch just hard. So I'm going to see if I can do it with one of these instead. Uh, there are a few other places you can do klepto skip. I believe this is the fastest. Uh, you can do it by climbing onto those uh, that cage over there, uh, and that's a bit easier. But I want to try to do it this way first, just to keep things nice and tricky. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I knew I was going to roll into poison at least once in this video, so that's a good start. <laughs> uh, you'll notice there's no music. Uh, you're going to have to live with that, because the music in this kingdom will not activate until you've interacted with Klepto. Uh, it plays a tune while, while Cappy's been captured, and then it goes to the regular tune once you've rescued her. So, since we're not going to be able to do it, either of those things, we're not going to have any music in this kingdom, just like ambient sounds and slipping rubber bands, which is something I kind of thought we were past at this point, but no. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, I'm going to... Oh dear. Uh, remember, because we're holding uh, ZR, we will slide down this tree if we're not holding like up or another direction on the analog stick, so you gotta watch out for that. I'm not sure if using just like a cap throw will let me... I think it might. Let me just experiment. I'll go with this way. I think I can get a triple jump that way, but you need a lot more, like, space to do it. Um, yeah, I think that should work. Okay. So I'm going to give this a few more tries, and then I'm going to head over to the cage and do it that way, because that's going to be much, much easier. Uh, okay. Hmm, the way the tree moves when you, like, jump on it makes it a lot trickier to time than a normal triple jump would be.
Okay. Uh, once we do manage to pull this off, we'll be able to use checkpoint warps and stuff to get back up there more easily, so it's not too much to worry about. Uh, I just want to spend a few minutes trying to do it this way first. Oh, yeah. I knew that I knew that was a long jump, but I thought I'd see if it was far enough in. It's not. It's not far enough. <laughs> uh, I might try for another, like, a half minute or something, and then I'm going to go over to the cages and do it to put the cages instead. Just because that's proving tricky to pull off. Whoa, okay, you can do it with a long jump. <laughs> Did not expect that. Alright, well, now we're up here. All we got to do is make our way... Uh, you want to make our way to one of the checkpoints, basically? Uh, I think if we... Leave me alone. There we go. Uh, there's a checkpoint at the very top, so uh, what I want to do is make my way over to the... Uh, we'll, we'll go for the butterfly one in a second, but again, that's a bit tricky because of the way we're playing. Uh, but yeah, we can head up here. Hit the checkpoint at the top without too much trouble. There we go. So now we've hit that, if we happen to fall down, we can walk back up and we won't have too much trouble. Uh, there's a moon at the very top here, so we can grab that. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! So that's one out of ten. Pretty good start. Uh, then we can come over to Glideon here and get some help from Glideon to make our way over there. I wonder if we could use like a Cappy Roll Jump. Maybe, but we're permanently crouching, so it'd be annoying. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! So that's two. Uh, just, uh, the launcher takes you back to here. Yep. Uh, we might need to warp again from here. I'll go over the cages and try to do it that way now, just to see. So, uh, to do it with the cages, you want to get into this tree here, I think. Having some trouble getting into the tree. Um, you can also probably just do a triple jump from the ground, but I want to try to get the height nice and early. Okay, maybe not. Alright, so... Yeah, you can see that there's a couple of trees you can stand on over here, so we can just... Get into this one first. Oh my god. <laughs> there we go, and then you can get into the one with the cage. Had too much trouble, there we go. And then from there, you can just do another flip up here to reach this platform. Thankfully, this wall here stops that guy from getting us, so that's great. Uh, there. Okay, so we can go get some more moons. There's one here with all these butterflies. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! <laughs> and there's another one over there just sort of hanging out. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! So yeah, Klepto's over there, hasn't been activated, uh, since we didn't go to the right spot to activate Klepto. We head down here, we can... Uh, to go inside the wall there, you can see the pipe is vertical, and so to go in there we would have to uncrouch, because the rules changed, as you may remember. Uh, so I'm probably going to try to avoid that one. Although I know it is it is doable crouch. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah, or it was doable crouch before they changed the rules anyway, because I did it in the crouching run a while ago, as you may recall. I know, right? Pretty cool. Uh, you can come down here and uh, get the moon shards without activating Klepto, which is kind of neat. Seems like you're kind of close but if you do that, but no, it's okay. Sure is. That's actually the first moon shard I've touched in this run, which is why uh, Cappy is telling me what it is. Uh, since we didn't get the ones in Tostarina, and 
any of the other moon shards in the game up until this point. <laughs> it's kind of obvious what they do, really. Uh, but, you know, she just gives you a little bit of a hint. I guess you weren't sure, I guess. Okay, the last one is that one in that hole over there, which is really annoying to get into without uh, using a wiggler. So I guess I'll just grab Wiggler for that last one. Uh, oops! Uh, that's not good. Klepto, no! I must have touched the activation point. Uh, did that save? Or can I... Is that gonna save what just happened? Okay, I don't think that saved, so I can probably go, uh... If I just, like, kill the game like this, and then reload it, it should be... Uh, before that happened. <laughs> yeah, the, um, the, the, like, activation point for Collector is completely invisible, so I don't know where it is. <laughs> uh, the moon shards might not stay collected. I'm not sure if that saves before you start getting them, or if... Mm. Uh, but the moons would have saved, so that's okay. Let's hit resume like this. Collect power moons. It should just respawn us with Cappy, hopefully. Yeah, it did. Uh, I've got to crouch again because I quit the game. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to avoid going in that direction because that happened. Uh, hmm, let me see. So we can just warp up, to the, warp up to the summit now instead of having to do all the skips and stuff to get up there, which is nice. Oh, we can buy a moon. Uh, when Cappy is uh, stolen, this door actually closes, so you can't go in and buy a moon until you rescue her. But if you just climb up here, like before she's stolen in her all, you can you can do that. It's fine. So that's cool. Uh, that was scary. Um, what's that butterfly? Oh, yeah, there's also a moon over here. That's all right. Let's go for that one. Nope. Oh, that wasn't what I wanted to do at all. And that's how Mario died. Again. Okay, so... Yeah, so long as we quit out reasonably quickly when Klepto activates, we'll be okay. It'll just have to reload the game, basically. Uh, here's the butterfly. Uh, this is a little annoying because we have to jump to throw our hat and you have to be on the ground to hit the butterfly, basically. But we did it without too much trouble. <laughs> yeah! Uh, we can get another moon by heading over there, where you can see that sparkle on the ground. With all the butterflies forming around it. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Um, let's see, there's a Cat Mario there. If you wanted a Cat Mario, you can get one from just there. Let me see, what else can we do without activating? Activating the, the klepto scene. Uh, we should be able to get the Captain Toad moon, I think. I'm just not sure where the activation location is, is the problem, which makes it tricky. Uh, I believe if you, like, come right up to klepto, uh, they activate and, like, just move to the other spot so you can defeat them, but they don't actually take Cappy, which is interesting. Um... I know you can get these... Oh! Okay. What? Why did that happen? Uh, I know you can get the moon shards without activating Klepto, so I'm not sure what it is that activates... activates the bird. <laughs> Weird. Oh, I've got to go sit through this loading screen again. Which is kind of annoying. Playing with detached Joy-Cons is nice. I'm not doing it this time because I'm Super crouching, Mario but in normal Odyssey. play, I like to play that way. Okay, uh, so we need three more moons. Uh, there's one over here that we might be able to get. It's really, really, really hard without a capture, but we can actually bring Glide on down here and do it that way, so let's have a quick look and see if we can pull it off. Uh, basically the deal is you're supposed to get a wiggler, uh, and bring the wiggler, let's just glide down. You're supposed to bring the wiggler over here, uh, and 
you can see underneath there's actually a little like hole there. That's where the key is to open that keyhole. Uh, but it's above poison, so you have to stretch down with a wiggler to get it. Uh, another way to do it, however, would be to put Glidon here, uh, put Cappy next to Glidon, which we might be able to pull off. Uh, without actually capturing Glidon, ideally. Uh, I'm gonna keep throwing too, too close. Make the angle a bit different. Uh, let's see. Nah, that's nah, not working. Basically what you do is you put Cappy next to Glidon, you slide down, grab the key, uh, hastily shake in order to, uh, you know, capture Glidon and that pulls you back up before you fall into poison. Uh, but I can't pull it off. <laughs> okay, uh, where else can we get moons? Uh, we can buy one, I think we might need to. We're running a bit sl short on moons we can get without the cutscene weirdly activating for some reason. Hmm. We were really hoping to find a new where we could go and where we couldn't without having to, you know, try individual spots and reload the game and stuff. I think it doesn't activate until you touch the ground regardless, so I, so I can probably glide down, grab that moon, and then, like, immediately quit the game if it activates. Uh, maybe. A little scared to try. <laughs> uh, we can probably take glide on this way, though. Get these purples. Cappy's so cute. I love her so much. What a cutie. Uh, okay, and that launches us over here. Without activating Glo without activating Klepto. Alright, so we can get over here without Klepto activating, if we do it this way. Which helps out a lot, because there's a bunch of more moons over here. Um, oops. I wonder where the activation actually is. Right. It's, it's very vague. <laughs> um... You can probably get that power moon. Da, 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 da. Yeah! Okay, that's eight. We need two more. Um, we can probably do the Captain Toad moon, it's just over this way. Uh, you can see there's a little hole down there, you just have to basically slide down this wall here. Just get inside the hole, there we go. And there's Captain Toad over there. And some money, if you wanted a bunch of money. You can rob Captain Toad. A different giant bird than my usual one. Yeah! Okay, we need one more moon. We can buy one, but I don't want to. Let's have a little look around and see what else we can do. Uh, I walk back to Swamp Hill. Is that going to activate Klepto? Probably not, but I'm a little, little scared that it might. Nope, we're good. Okay. <laughs> I just don't know where the activation spot is. Like, it could be anywhere. Uh. Yeah! Okay, well, we're good. We got ten moons, and although we activated Klepto a few times, if you quit, it doesn't save that Klepto was activated, so we're all good. And now we can repair the Odyssey. And also get covered in soot from in the Odyssey. There we go. Awesome. <laughs> so yeah, the music hasn't started because Klepto never actually captured us. So it's just ambient sounds here. Um, and the Odyssey is really busted up and we're about to fix it. And that's probably about it for this video. It's a shorter experiment compared to some of these. Quite a bit of it was loading time because I had to restart the game twice. <laughs> Oh, that's fun though. Uh, so that's it for that. The Odyssey is repaired, that's right. <sighs> and we immediately get taken off to the next kingdom, which is Metro. Uh, we won't be doing an experiment there in this video, but we will be in the next video. We'll probably be switching back to the Joy-Cons rather than the Pro-Con, just to do things a bit differently. Uh, We sure did. I think Happy says that regardless of how many you find, and you can find like 30-ish, which is interesting, because you found way more than you needed. <laughs>
Okay, yeah, so here's New Donk City. Uh, we won't be doing this right now. Uh, this is going to be waiting for the time being. Scourge on the skyscraper! Um, but that's it for this video. Uh, that's uh, Lost Kingdom permanently crouching without activating Klepto. Which is something that folks wanted me to do in the chal crouching challenge and I didn't, so now I have. Uh, and... yeah. <laughs> I pulled off both types of Klepto skip. Oddly enough, I managed to do it with a long jump instead of a triple jump, which I did not think would work. Uh, I was surprised. Uh, and next time we're going to be doing an experiment here in the Metro Kingdom, so look forward to that. Um, but that's it for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.